March 2nd on the Near Southern Pier. Dearest Frederick, I'm overjoyed to have you with me. Every day I feel thankful. We've had our struggles and it hasn't been an easy ride, but we have each other. The love I hold for you is unparalleled. It's the unconditional force of life. I'm certain you recognize it. This morning, I'm going into the city to work and I'm sitting on the pier waiting for the ferry. Living on this beautiful peninsula in the Oslo Fjord has its perks. Commuting will never be the same after having lived in this special place. After a five minute bus ride, we get to sit on the pier for a few minutes. Before boarding the ferry, we can watch the sunrise, listen to the seabirds or chat with a neighbor. On the ferry, we can buy a cup of coffee and a svele. Every ferry in Norway has them. They resemble American pancakes, but better. And we eat them with traditional brown cheese. Yummy. We can sit in comfortable seats. There's always a seat. And continue to chat with a neighbor. Or we can prepare for a meeting, write a paragraph for our book, or look out on the fjord in quiet contemplation. In winter, we keep warm inside, and in summer, when the sun is shining, we sit out on deck and take in the sea's scent and the view of the fjord with all the little islands scattered around, the land green with trees rising from the water, the hills in the distance, and the city of Oslo with its characteristic city hall, its shape inspired by our national brown cheese, would you believe it, emerging as we approach it. In the evenings, a stunning sunset sometimes colors the sea a deep orange or purple. It's a privileged life, and I feel blessed to be living in this beautiful nature with a sea close by and my beloved Frederick with me, at least for a few more years. What will I do the day he leaves his nest to explore the world on his own? The ferry just arrived. Back in a moment minutes later. There, I found a seat by the window. I have a sailor in my hand and my Mac in front of me. I'm ready to continue. I had so much fun writing yesterday. I found it difficult to focus at the piano. My head was drooping and my body felt heavy. The playing made me tired. I was trying to have fun, but I wasn't having fun. My fear of not living up to the magic I was telling you about got the better of me. I short-circuited the flow, so to speak, by trying too hard, instead of being in the moment and observing what my soul wanted to play. There was no point continuing until I let go of the trying. Were you aware that when you try to create, when you make an effort, you lower your energy and choke your creativity. Being and doing is the only way. Next time, I'll just play.